Hey guys, welcome back to Third Wheel, the show where we pick up two singles, force them to mingle, and maybe down the line they'll pop out a baby like it's a can of Pringles. I'm here with Lauren Elizabeth. Hi. Lauren March, do you ever go by Lauren March or no? No, I always go by Lauren Elizabeth. It's mm. weird, yeah. Uh, okay, so well, in this show we're going to pick up two people, put them in the car next to each other, force them to play games at our will. We're like little puppeteers. Oh yeah. We're gonna see if they fall in love, and if they do, they're gonna go on a second date by leaving that car door unlocked and letting the person back in the car once we stop. If not, well, they gotta find a new car service because we're yeah. out of there. I'm out. Are you ready to go, Lauren? I'm ready to go, are you ready to go? Let's find two suckers. Who lets me drive this car? Whoa! Yeah, I'm not, you just almost killed us. Oh my oh, god, here I think he is, it's him! Look at him. Oh, he's, he's kind of a big guy. I'm a Thren. Like you. I'm Thren physically. Hey, Hello. how's it going, buddy? Hello, I'm good. How are my you? My name is Hunter March. I'm Lauren Elizabeth. What is your name? I'm Michael. Hi, no? Michael. Hi, Michael. Uh, what do you like doing, Michael? Um, I love to surf. love to snowboard. <laughs> what do you look for in a girl? Um, well, first of all, look. Very Wait, hold on. Did me. you say first of all looks? Well, yeah. You gotta be attracted. You the have person. to be attracted, or else it's not gonna really work out. I like long hair. I have this weird thing where I kind of like a curved upward nose. You like the like the uh, it's like nose? it's a who knows. I describe it as a who knows. Yes. Uh, how's your dating life been going? Have you found any who people recently? No, 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 not not recently. We're gonna set you up with another uh, date. Okay. Another potential who villain. Oh, we are getting close. She is right around the corner, my friend. Oh my god, I see a pretty lady that looks like Cindy Lou. Here she oh, is. Oh, she get the door again. for her. Get the door for her. Get the door for her. Get the door for her. Come on. Let her oh, there we go. It's a gentleman. <laughs> go quickly, quickly. Get to the other side. This is funny. This is good, this is good. <laughs> what are you nice. doing? Nice. 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 Go right nice. nice. I'm Michael. Oh, Hello. Hi. Sorry. What's seat belting myself? Nice. Seatbelt girl, what's I'm your name? Mara. 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 I'm a student. I'm in my last year of school. Well, how's your love life been lately? You know, I haven't really been trying to date anyone. I've just like been more of like going out with friends. Do you ever hook up with those friends at the end of the night? No. Because that would be dating. No, but they're girlfriends. Okay, tell me more. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So when it when it comes to dating, what do you look for in a person? Someone that's like honest. Humor is pretty good. Like I can't date someone who's like super serious. How's that search been for you so far? Um, you know, I feel like guys my age tend to have a problem not so much with the funny part, but more with the honest part. Ooh. So you like honesty in a guy. We're gonna see how honest you are. This is a little game I like to call speed questions. You're in the hot seat and you are gonna get to judge her based on everything she says. All right, Mara, biggest lie you've ever told. What are you talking about? I don't lie. All right, so that may have been it right there. <laughs> All right, one superpower you wish you could have. I wish I could fly. You wish you could fly? Yes. Stressful. Read people's minds. Really? I yeah, I think that you bring up a good point, but I'd like to know things. Well, let me just tell you what these mean. I actually have the answers, uh, descriptions of the answers on the okay. back of this card. It says flight means they're scared of commitment and they'd like to leave any situation as fast as possible. Reading people's minds means that you're insecure with your own thoughts and you want to be in other people's heads. Wow. So that being said, which storybook character would you want to be most? Sleeping Beauty. She gets to just sleep all the time. Oh my god, that's such a good point. Right? Yeah. Weird and then take the guy on kisses. <laughs> if you could change one thing about this date, Right now, what would it be? Maybe like being asked these questions and then like having it like recorded. So you're saying the cameras and the fact that it's a show? Yes. Well, that's one thing you can't change. I know. <laughs> Who should wear the pants in a relationship? I think it should be equal. I realize that's like a super probably cliche thing to say. I agree with that. You know, I, mean, I would like my wife to bring in more money than me. How know? great would that I be? I know, that's the dream. That's God. the dream. Waiting for that day. Okay, you guys did super well with those speed questions. We're on our way, and our next game is going to be a little thing I like to call face painting. Again, I'm not really great with the naming of these games. <laughs> One of you will be drawing on the other person's face whatever I tell you to draw, and the person whose face is being drawn on will have to guess what that person is drawing. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, if I had to describe it, I would say it's long. Is it a banana? Show? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Good. So I know what I want you to draw. Go ahead and sing your favorite song. All we did was care for each other. Let me clear that out. 
Can you look at the camera for a second? Let's see if we can get some guesses going right now. Please not. Spaghetti and meatballs? Mm. No. No. Okay. Oh, eyes. That is correct. They were eyes. Really? I thought they were boobies. My eyes are up here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys took what I asked you to draw and made it really offensive to our viewers, potentially. Oh. <laughs> so what I want to do, let's do some easy shapes. Do you have any idea, Michael? Is it a heart? No. Uh, elephant. Nope. It's much smaller. Mouse. It's a Close. little bit bigger. Kind of. A muskrat. Um, it's a little specific. A squirrel? It's yeah! A squirrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see what it looks like. Actually, you know, it still looks like a penis a little bit. <laughs> no. So, Mara, he knows what he's drawing, and I know what he's drawing. But I just don't think your family should ever see this after he draws oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a little crazy. Ooh, cheek action. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, that's is, not a is, good start. This is more uh -oh. difficult than the forehead. Um, Bacon? No. Oh. Is it like a square? Yeah, you got it. It was a square. What? Are you serious? I don't know what he drew the okay. first time. <laughs> After seeing each other's drawings, do you want to continue on this date? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. All right. Well, that leads us to our next game, which I have cleverly called Heads Up, based on the iPhone game Heads Up. So do you guys want to play blockbuster movies, Animals Gone Wild, Accents and Impressions, Hey Mr. DJ, or Adult Supervision? Pick the one you want to play, and we'll see if you guys are off to a good start, okay? All right. You guys All right. both have it in your head? Yeah. Yes. One, two, three. Accents. Accents. Ah! Wow. Oh, no. so well. This is going to nice. get offensive. All right. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, French. Ah! Yes. Uh, the precious, precious, must get precious. Collins? Yes. <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not quite British, and I'm not Australian. Australia. Oh. It's it's a no no but it's It'd be like talk like this oh no, that's more like it hey it's like a pizza Italian. no no, no. 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 Correct before it's right you got three right but it says you got five right because you don't know how to work the device you guys did one round where you actually got it right okay. this round you need to do it yet again to get the food of your choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one so it's not potentially offensive. <laughs> animals Gone Wild, which I'm assuming has to do with animals. Oh, gross. Um. Oh, like a leech? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, well done. Oh, a lion? A koala bear? A bear? A bear, a grizzly bear? Yes. Nice. Uh, shadow. He's a shadow. Oh, a uh, groundhog. Yeah. You gotta pretend to be the animal oh, from this sorry. point on. Uh, uh, Elephant. Yeah. Nice. Uh, smells. Oh. A skunk? <laughs> Stink bugs. Okay, so you guys won the challenge. Now it's time to pick a restaurant. Okay. Uh, and by restaurant, I mean fast food chain. Okay. Any ideas? Uh, I like In N Out. Fine. We don't have a lot of time or a lot of money, so we're gonna go to In N Out. <laughs> It's time for you guys to get to know each other. I want you guys to take this time to ask each other any questions I may have forgotten while you enjoy your meal. You know, I haven't really had like a ton of serious relationships. Um, Hit it and quit it kind of girl. My last relationship was kind of like a while ago. And it was like only two months. That was um, the longest you've ever been in? Yes. Wow. What's month and a half. Oh, you're worse than me! I, <laughs> I can't commit to those things. What is your idea of a romantic second date? I'm not trying to go ahead and suggest anything, but just wondering. Mm -hmm. I'm totally fine with just like staying in and like literally eating Chinese food with someone and just like chilling and watching Netflix. Or I'm just like, I would also like to like go out, you know, to like dinner or whatever. So stay in or go out, you really narrowed it down. <laughs> At this point in third wheel, I'm going to ask Mara to leave the car once we park. Please don't do it. Last time we had a big issue. <laughs> um, we're going to park. You're going to step out of the car. You're going to talk to Lauren, decide if you want to go on a second date. I'm going to stay in the car with Michael. The door will either be locked or unlocked, deciding your fate as a potential couple. Boom, here we are. You get the f out. I'm going. <laughs> Let's go, girl. <sighs> OK, girl. What, what are you thinking? What's going on? What's going through the brain? Pros and cons. What do you like about him? Um, I really liked him. He was super nice. He um, made me feel really comfortable on the date, even when we we're drawing on each other's faces. Pros. Um, I liked her nose. 
Um, she was very pretty. Any cons? Oh, um, I mean, like, I want to say that I was a little concerned about the, like, not wanting to commit in a way. Because, like, it's, it's... Well, you also said that you don't but commit. But I also don't really commit either. What are some of the cons? Um, you know, we... I did have a lot to talk about, but hopefully that'll change. He's super nice. Yeah. I definitely want to see him again, so. Oh, I mean, I think he's going to want to see you again. Okay. Um, then I think that leads us to know what our answer is. Go ahead and either unlock or lock that door. Are you ready for your fate, your destiny? Let's do this. All right. Lead the way. Okay. This is big. This is big. Oh! Awesome. I want to prove to everyone watching that we really did our jobs, that this is true love. <laughs> it is true love. I say we just get one quick peck. We test the chemistry. I've got my chemistry meter right here. That is how we play third wheel. Lauren is in shock. That was Lauren so saw. cute. I love is it. Is that shocking? Thank you guys for being on Third Wheel. Everyone at home, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you to Lauren Elizabeth for driving us everywhere. Of course, I love being a driver. Every time you don't kill us driving, I am surprised. Me too. Uh, this is how we play Third Wheel. We hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for being here. We'll see you next week. Bye.